was it a hard decision to, or did you know after you lost him that this was what you had to do? I knew this is what I had to do as long as the figures could justify it. Um, he put too much in his places and alone for the staff as well. And if they were ready to, to do it, I was ready to do it. And if the figures could uh, confirm that, um, mm -hmm. no, no regrets whatsoever. Was there a lot of discussion between you and Leticia or you and the folks running the places? Like, just give me a little bit of the, the process of that. There was discussions, including listening to people from the outside. Everybody shares and tells you what to do, but they don't really know what it is that we want to do. Mm -hmm. and. Um, she, to this day, doesn't necessarily want to be in the business, but is helping us out in class on the weekends. She's helped us out at Bar Birth. And um, yeah, it's an era we don't want to close, close yet. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. you, uh, you and Leticia both put in your hours mm -hmm. at Bar Birth oh, in yeah. particular yes, yeah. Um, yeah. to support Jean Robert when he moved up there yeah. from table. Yeah. Um, do you, are you, how do you feel about that time? You must be kind of grateful about having had that time with him. It was, yeah, we, yeah, I mean, we got to know each other working with each other, so it was never an issue. It was just here more, it came down to somebody had to carry the health insurance and all of that, and part of the reason also salary for the restaurants to carry me in addition, so it was the right decision to, for me to have my own job, but then help out wherever was needed, and I had pleasure doing so. So what's the, what, what's the past year been like for you, trying to, A, mourn your husband, mm -hmm. help your daughter, mm -hmm. move a business forward? That's a lot. It's been a roller coaster, and um, I've luckily had support by the staff of the restaurants, and then by our friends Chris and Daniel that mm -hmm. all of a sudden are part of our lives and helping me move the restaurants forward, which gives me a little more strength to do so. Yeah, tell me a little bit about, well, first Chris and then Daniel. We'll just separate them like that. Tell me a little bit about how Chris got involved with the business and what he's going to be doing with you. How Chris got involved in the business is we've known Chris for a long time and um, we've known him as an opera singer in Cincinnati, went to CCM, lived in our neighborhood and um, he came for Jean Bell's service and he was singing during the communion and he's German American just like me and um, all of a sudden he said they might be interested in moving their chocolate business to Cincinnati they're both in Berlin. Um, Chris is, again, an opera singer that can write websites, that can do logistics like that. Um, mm. He helped us also with the toast implementation, for example, at Crust. And Daniel is the one that has, between a chocolatier, pastry chef, and chef, um, all that know-how. And the last time we saw them together here in Cincinnati was in 16, uh, when they came through Cincinnati looking at the southern states because they were building a barbecue business in Berlin. And then with the onset of the pandemic, they actually started a chocolate business, but by now saying that Berlin is quite lame or quiet, pandemic hasn't helped, and that there would be potential interest to come here. Mm -hmm. And um, when they then started coming together, it got clear quite fast that Danny doesn't just want to do chocolates. He wants to do more than that. And I said, I need help. So. Yeah. So I'm he's your culinary director he's now. My, he's my culinary director. And tell me yeah. how, that's, how that's helping things at French Crust right now. That's helping a lot. Um, he only got his visa through on as of, it's official as of the 15th of October. Mm -hmm. So up to now he was just consulting and would stand next to the pastry chef and say, if it was me, I would do that. <laughs> um, so, and then even remotely, um, so far they have been coming on a two week rotation and even remotely from Berlin, you know, you can do, they can do a lot of stuff. Um, He's um, priced all the menus. Everything is a little more measured, let's say, <laughs> not as free-spirited as it was before, but it's very important because I'm not in the business day to day, so it's a better way to control the cost and everything. Yeah, and, and you have to have somebody you trust. Yes, right? and they, yeah. I mean, the trust with Chris is 100%, and then for him to bring in a second person, mm -hmm. there was like, okay, I'm willing to take the risk. Um, we've both had experienced um, bad partnerships in the past, mm -hmm. so, that is lingering there as well, and that's why we all say we need to be an open book moving mm -hmm. forward, and if there's any issues, we need to address them. Yeah. And so Crust has, um, we've done to Crust what John Mayer wanted to do all along is also build a sandwich program, but it's not just sandwiches lying in a case. It's a matter of pre-ordering them, I mean, not pre-ordering them, but ordering them fresh, fresh and they're made, made right then and there. 
and uh, much more to go things. Um, still working on building some online shopping as well. So our idea for next year, monthly um, getting collaboration with chefs that work with Jean Bear and do a few of the menu items that they did with him and so feature that um, wow. every month. But this is preliminary stages with, so to keep I don't know, the, the spirit, mm -hmm. uh, the legacy, everything alive mm -hmm. and, and keep it going. Because otherwise, you know, where where is Barbeuf going without the Jean Bear element? Yeah. So. You don't want him to be lost. No. His, have you talked to any of the other chefs yet? Or do you know, no, you, do you have anyone in mind? Or, yeah. Yes, I have a list. You we have? have, I mean, we have people it's in probably mind. hundreds. I mean, yeah, he yeah. works with everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, I mean, people in, in mind, including, you know, of course, Daniel Boulou. I mean, mm -hmm. We talked with Steve yesterday, and even Dan, I don't know if you know Dan as well as Steve, but mm -hmm. his son Andrew has worked with us, amongst others, and he um, currently is studying in South Korea and is um, helping out there at Michelin star restaurants and all of that, so he would be a fun one to put in mm -hmm. there. And then, um, who else do we have? I mean, we have the David Fox, we have, mm -hmm. I mean, all of the ones that work with them. I mean, we still have, like, David Cook. I mean, we have Bridget and, and Jeremy from Sacred Bees, so... This is, again, just yeah. currently in, in a thought process, but um, hopefully we can make it work for That's next That's a year. neat idea. That's a really neat idea. Yeah. Um, you, we talked a little bit about Chris and Daniel and, and their management, but that, that team at um, French Crust, they're young and they're just full of hunger we and energy. With, it's amazing. So, I mean, Gus and Elana were both up at... Um, Barbeuf and Alana worked with Jean Bear before at L as well. And um, it's a young couple um, that down the road want to fulfill their dream. And when I was put up with my leg and I put in my, it was supposed to be my travel log. I was supposed yeah. to go two weeks in Bali. That was a trip for Jean Bear, became a trip for Letice and I, and then it became no trip. And I put in my log that, you know, this is a young couple that is now running fast. My dad said, somebody might hire them from you if you talk about it. But uh, <laughs> Down the road, they want to have their own restaurant. Mm -hmm. So when um, he started being interested in, in being down there and running the front, and then she showed interest, and we said, perfect. And I think it's a good stepping stone for them, and hopefully they don't jump too soon. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned um, you and Jean Robert meeting in, in New York and coming here together. Mm -hmm. Did you ever dream at that point in your lives that you would build what the both of you have built here? No, no. I mean, he, you know, he came end of 93. I gave him three months before I followed. Then we thought two, three, maximum five years, and then it's it's history. And I mean, to this day, we've had our hardships with, um, you know, losing our daughter, closing our first group of restaurants, and now the loss of him. But Leticia and I are still not ready to give up Cincinnati. Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati won't give give up you. No. I wouldn't imagine it will always be a base, whichever yeah. way it looks like. Yeah, just I, when I think of all the different ways that all the the chefs in the culinary community have supported you guys yeah. before Jean Robert passed away and yeah. after, that's got to be that's got to have such a special meaning for yeah. you. Yeah, does it give you guys strength? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's you know when you're ready to give up, there's more strength, and you, yeah. you just can't. I mean, it's everybody. Yeah keeps embracing and makes you go forward. Yeah, that's good. Um, has, have you and Leticia talked about the holidays this year? I was just wondering um, about that. Well, there were little talks. Um, she was even ready to say, let's go to Germany. I don't have any vacation. Um, so um, it's also hard for the first year, including Thanksgiving. We would host Thanksgiving for all of our how do we call them, um, dysfunctional family and friends, everybody that's like a little lost gets collected and we have it at Bar Buff as a private event. Mm -hmm. So the question was, what do we do this year? And I said, we do it at least one more year. And then the same for the support of the restaurants, I feel it's important for me to, to be here. I don't know exactly yet how everything is looking like, mm -hmm. but we always spend it with friends as well. So those friends will still be around yeah. uh, since we don't have family here. Um, you just received a really huge honor, one of the top 300 business leaders in the area from yeah. Cincinnati Magazine, which is congratulations. Thank you. Did you ever think of being this high profile yourself? You know, Jean Robert loved being in the spotlight. You I like to be in a bag. <laughs> 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 but that doesn't mean I don't know how to run the business. Yeah. What, what, what do you, uh, what is your, um, I guess your mantra about managing people, running a business, um, 
you know, what you're an expert on this. Mm -hmm. what, do, what would you say to other people who have a dream like yours or Jean Robert's? I mean, I'd, I'd, I mean, I've learned the industry from, from the bottom up as well. Mm -hmm. I think in our industry, it's still the good way to do it. I mean, that's how I learned it in a hotel and then just fell into the restaurant business mm -hmm. as well. Um, you have to have a passion for it. Uh, it's very hard um, hours and all of that mm -hmm. um, without having a passion for it. And um, I'm always a big believer in empowering, and that's what we're doing with our, with our young team. So being behind the scenes, but still give them guidance, and you know they, mm -hmm. they, they still need it, and just share. And that's why I'm excited about bringing in Daniel and Chris as well, is mm -hmm. just a little bit of the European know-how as well. And then on the flip side, you have some people who've been with you for decades, mm -hmm. like Anne yep. and Mary Lou, yep. and that must be a good source yeah. of... Yeah, I mean, Anne, including this morning, was texting me about a few things, and I'm like, yes, it's, it's, it's a good sounding board to have, yeah. 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 Um, do you, are you, how do you feel about that loyalty, you know, that these people um, still have? I can't, I, can't, I can't thank them enough and just hope that I keep it going. You feel good in this place where you are now? Uh, I feel, yeah, I mean, uh, this was a blessing that I, I moved to be a GM of a property that mm -hmm. jean Bear was always nagging and saying, how come, how come? I'm like, I want to be there every day for our daughter to, you know, wake up for school and all of that. And the moment she moved on to college, I moved my career. And um, it was a blessing for me to do so, to get through it all. And then a blessing that the restaurants have been able to continue running with me not being there day to day. Do you hear his voice telling you to do things? Yeah. 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 And I mean, he's also, he also told me, hey, slow down, uh, you know? So yes, yeah, yeah. And I'm not the only one. I mean, even Steve said he, was, he had a night with dreams, like, like jean Mer was there and he was laughing and didn't want to wake up, like, because the dream was so real, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. He's very present.